what's up? Uh, we are in the cab. We got our new piece of tillage equipment behind us. We're off to set this up. We have the dealer uh, right behind me in his truck, and we're gonna set it up, make sure it's set up right before we start uh, doing some tillage here this spring. So that's what we're doing today. We'll get you some more video when we get there. doing now is uh, trying to get this thing leveled um, not in a very flat spot of the field but we are we're gonna try and get it we're gonna try and get it leveled that's why he's out there with the measuring tape and the checking depths and you want them you want them to the front and back to be even so we're gonna move over to a flatter spot in the field and see if we can't get this leveled well, so our cat sits pretty low, and the hitch is pretty low on it. So we're trying to adjust to get enough back down, down angle on it to make it level. The front is, is a little lower right now than uh, the back, and it should be the same level. We're, uh, we might have to adjust some stuff manually to get that done, but we'll get it there, and that's why we have the dealer here and we're out in the field making sure it's set up right before we go cover a bunch of acres with it the wrong way so um, that's what we're up to it is a little cold and windy today uh, but hopefully the ground will warm up here in the next week and we can get in the field so look that way do you yeah you can tell back here too it's not we're not as deep in the middle you get down here and look you've got it kind of a hump All right, so what we're gonna do is on the hitch, on the back of the cat there, um, we're actually gonna change the position of the hitch on the TerraMax uh, down to another, so that the tongue is higher, so we can get more pitch out of the back. Uh, right now we have the, the back is uh, not as deep as the front, and you want those to be even, so that's what we're working on. I'll show you guys a little closer. It's loud over there by the tractor, that's why I'm out here but I'll show you what I'm talking about. So the hitch has these two bolts in it and we're gonna move it down one section. That'll put our hitch point down further, which will give our tongue a little more uh, angle to work with so we can get it leveled. Oh, Dad? Hey, Dad. There you are, Dad. Dad! Hey, Dad! Who's a Dad? You, you are, are dad. dad! Why, watch who's here. That was a textbook Dad noise, Dan. Okay, you guys have all been eating too many sugar cereals. Don't! Because if you want to... Well, I haven't had too much sugar cereal. Yet. I 
It's about uh, 10 o'clock at night on April 20th, and I'm standing out here in my yard getting snowed on. Uh, we have the planter over here. I'm looking at it, and we're getting ready to plant some corn, and it's snowing. What's going on, everybody? Uh, we did get the tillage system all set up the way it needs to be. I think we got it where we want it. Um, today, uh, there was no video this last week because on Friday my sister got married. Uh, so congratulations, John and Marin. And so we were a little busy doing that, and Friday is typically the day I put a video out. So uh, Thursday night we had a rehearsal and all that stuff. So the video this week will be everything I recorded last week and this week. Last week we did get that tillage system set up. Uh, it's really fast. It works really well. Uh, I will put together a video of that working uh, when we get into the next field. We haven't done any more tillage yet. Uh, but today we're out here on the planter uh, working on this. I'll show you kind of what we're getting done. So this is the row unit that actually places the seeds and then it drops down into a tube into the ground. Uh, the seed goes in here, comes in through a vacuum tube that's not hooked up right now, and comes in to this hopper, and then there's a plate in here that spins and takes each seed and drops it where it needs to be. So this is what the inside looks like. Uh, there is the plate that I was telling you about that spins. Now this one is set up for corn. Uh, corn and beans are planted at different populations, so there's less holes on the corn plate. And this will spin, and there's suction behind it that holds the seed in each one of these little holes. And then when it comes around to the bottom, uh, it loses the suction there and drops off and into the seed tube and into the ground. Now what we were replacing uh, that Dad did uh, earlier today is there's this rubber seal right here. The old ones were getting worn out and that's what holds the suction. That's what she said. Did you plan that? No. Can you make that straighter? That job looks hard. You should put your mouth on that. How can you even use that one naturally? Blowing up balloons, I thought. Uh, there's the vacuum behind it here, and that's what holds the seeds on the plate. And if that's not uh, making a good seal, you're not going to get your singulation right, and you will not have the right population. So we replaced all of these. Um, this this planter is uh, it's probably seven or eight years old now. It's been 84 years. And they were just getting worn out. Uh, dried out and cracked and starting to break up at the points here. So we replaced all of them so we don't have to worry about it this year and um, they should be good to go. So this fits on this way here and when that wheel spins it picks up the seed here in the bottom that's where the hopper is. Picks up the seed comes around the top and then uh, once it gets to this point it will drop and lose suction right here and drop down the seed tube and down into the ground. There's another tube that goes, this fits onto right there. And then that goes down into the ground and plants the seed. So that's what we've been working on this week is getting the planter ready, um, getting those parts put on. We did have to order some more of those rubber seals, uh, but we got them all now and they're all on and ready to go. So not much left to do except put some seed in here, uh, make sure everything's working, and it'll take about a day just to get set up. Every time you get to a field for the first time in the year, you got to remember how everything works and uh, make sure your monitors are set up right and all that good stuff. So it does take, take some time to get going the first time it seems like, but we'll get out in the field. Maybe this afternoon, maybe tomorrow, I'm not sure. It's supposed to be 80 today. The ground has been pretty cold. So we're hoping the soil temp warms up just a little bit more 
before we start planting corn, but it's possible we'd go today. We'll see. We'll see how ambitious Dad's feeling, so. Otherwise, um, yeah, we're ready to rock and roll. Well, we're getting ready to go out to the field for the first time this year, plant some corn. We got the corn all loaded up and uh, got some setting up to do. We got to set, change the depth on the row units, make it a little deeper yet. And uh, once we do that, we'll be ready to go. And then as dad does that, I'm gonna take the tillage out and go do another field in front of him. So that's ready. And uh, as soon as that's done, we'll be planting corn at full speed. So I'm gonna go follow him in the pickup and I'll meet up and we'll set stuff up and get ready to go. All right, dad's out here uh, unfolding the markers. We we do use the markers on the end rows uh, to keep them straight and the right distance apart. I know a lot of guys don't use the markers, but we still like them. Now, if you're new to my channel, uh, go ahead and subscribe and also uh, comment on this video. Um, but if you're new to our channel, you probably don't know what we're running here. This is our planter. It is a planter for corn and soybeans. We run 20 inch rows, which is kind of uncommon um, in both corn and soybeans. So that's why it looks like there's a lot of rows closer together that compared to other farmers uh, planters, because there is. Look at this. This is an aspen. You can tell that it's an aspen tree because of the way it is. Wow. But this is a 24 row, 40 foot, 20 inch spaced planter that we use. <laughs> How neat is that? That's pretty neat.
you on the next one. See ya.